Welcome back to another Guardian Tales video, boys. Holy smokes, time has been flying in the real world. It's it's been wild. Got some old videos that are old enough to the point. I don't even know if there's a purpose in me publishing them, but I might do it anyways. I don't know. Been difficult keeping up with stuff, um, but we've still been, you know, doing some extra. Oh, I almost really good timing on him. I thought I could have juked that. I don't think I've ever been able to juke a close range on that. We're about to get chains go. I'm just going to hope that I start the box before he starts doing his chain. We got the box, but my goodness gracious, that was probably one of the highest DPSing um, Beths that I've come across. Because we did zero damage to him, he just murked us. But he does have a double melee buff, so that is why. And so much so to the point where it's probably going to hurt my princess, man. I really don't want to get... Did that hit me? Kind of feel like it did. Look at how much damage you did my princess. It's crazy. And I do have a defense buff for Magma in there, so. It is what it is. We had great, like, redonkulously great um, PvP yesterday, which means that having good PvP the previous day, he's going to kite that. I thought I'd get a couple more hits. There we go. None of that hit me. But still. Please let me get something. How did I get none of that? Well, at least he's throwing his weapon still on the ground. We have a chance. We're still an underdog. We have a chance. Um, been having some good PvP lately. Calamity, man. I think if I kite around, it'll actually not go well for me. Like, I won't get an advantage from it, so. We did a little trade there, and it's gonna come down to the fact that if I get my chain skill, I have a chance. And if not, we've just wasted three minutes. Now, he's been, he kited my other weapon skills really well. So I gotta watch out for this guy doing them things. He knows. There it is. Okay, it's not over. It's not over. Am I? Ooh, I thought I lagged out there. Oh, goodness gracious. Eugene's still in the building, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy. G-A-V-X. Oh, I can't even talk trash. It's actually Diamond 1, so... We know as soon as I get up into Master League, I'm going to get kicked back down to Diamond 1, but... Anyways, like I was trying to say, I can never finish the thought when I'm doing Arena. It's probably very frustrating for you guys watching, but I appreciate the 50 of you that still check my channel out. But, been busy, been doing a lot of stuff. Um, sleep schedule's all over the freaking place, man. I've done things, and it's just, whatever. I'm getting my total of however many hours per day, but it's, it's wild, dude. I don't know what's going on. I, I guess I just blame, uh, I don't know, gesture randomly at everything. He's gonna try to trick me. I think he's, God. I was pressing the sprint button, and I really don't feel like sprinting was happening. And we're gonna get weapon skilled again. At least I got my shield off. I don't know, we're not doing great. Not great, not great. He's up on one box. Eh, could have been worse. Could have been worse. He is our type counter. It's really difficult to deal with Princess um, in that matchup because you can just box out the boxes. Oh, I did get an upgrade of my weapon. Um, I'll talk about that possibly later, but my princess weapon is like very close to being perfect he's gonna try where you at that hit me a lot what i don't even know what happened there. just take the box i don't care anymore i don't even care anymore i don't even know we've been doing a lot of lifting the weight's finally getting heavy again i was doing um Five sets of five on squat with uh, 550. We're trying to get back to it. I did um, five sets of 10 with 300. Not the most impressive thing, but my god, that's a long workout. Ooh, he kind of doubled back into it. I don't know if me standing here is a good thing. Probably not. Yeah, it's not. I can use this to block out and get some more boxes. Ooh, I did get my chain skill real quick. Five seconds is enough. It's not going to be enough to get this, so I'm just going to stand in his weapon skill, I guess. Was that enough to bring it back? Maybe. Maybe. 
I don't think we're going to pair well against Vish, even with boxes and stuff. He's going to do his shield thing. I'm just going to chill out with that. Shield is gone. We have a type advantage. And that's that. I could have tried to stall and get more boxes and stuff. I really don't think boxes are going to be the difference. The new lunging attack on Vish is actually quite terrifying. And even with my speed, I don't know. See, that's still hitting me. Did, did none of that hit? Look at that. All of his attacks hit me, and I don't think any of my weapon skill hit. We're going to get chained off his... Here it comes, here it comes. I can't move. Look at that. How did my weapon skill go physically through his character, and I didn't get any hits on that? And then his AoE just takes up the whole screen and still catches me. Not the first time that I ran against Vish. I still think Vish is never really going to be a very useful hero. You might get some matchups where you got like a melee team and things are happening, but um, simply because of the hit point party buff that you basically don't want, um, Vish is going to be in that weird spot. And I was kind of wondering if the new dark hero, which I have, I do. Why, why am I bouncing? Why am I bouncing? Just. Do the things that I press the buttons for you to do. It's all I'm asking, game. Um, you know, is he lagging out? What's going on here? Am I lagging out? Is he lagging out? Are we lagging out? A lot of questions. Yeah, we're just going to do the Agma thing. But yeah, I really feel like Vish has a real good chance of being a very top tier hero. But the hit point party buff, man. Vish has a really strong five star ability, um, tons of p potential damage. But you know, if you're running Vish, you want damage on your team nine times out of ten. And it is what it is. But you know, from time to time you get caught. Eugene is still, even though you can pull off some cheesy wins and stuff, um, Eugene is still probably a prime target for Vish or any any ranged hero. But Eugene's so squishy. Eugene is basically a ranged hero with a melee attack. So this, move is. this guy's just lagging his butt off. Hopefully I remember. He's lagging, but he's able to kite my stuff. Like what, what's going on here? He thinks I'm with a weapon skill. We're both going to do the thing. Look at us, we're twins. Neither of us get our thing. Kind of want to get that box just for the lulls, but I'm not going to do it. Look at that, we're adorable. I should keep in mind that I'm going to have to fight a Beth soon. I really hope I put a lot of damage in here before Eugene has to deal with Beth. Even though the type counter, um, a good Beth can, can make some plays happen. And it's a very tight map. Did that hit? You be the judge. I can never decide because even if it, whether the icon or whether the telegraph touches the enemy or not, um, doesn't seem to, to matter too much. What I typically look for is do I see um, the numbers coming up from the hits? And um, just based on server lag and all that stuff I've complained about for the past like six months, eh, only way I know if it hits is if I'm stunned after getting hit by two of them, but whatever, let's keep it going. But yeah, oh my goodness, I had a couple um, super ridiculously close matches with Eugene that were actually screenshotted like the last second. And I had like a sliver of health and I had some massive comeback, so that was kind of fun. I have not had a horrible time fighting against whatever this girl's name is. Uh, I think it's a fun hero. I'm going to try to kite away from that. Like, I've seen a lot of princesses get trolled. Oh, this might be bad. Dodge that. Huh. Um, but if you just, like, stand right on top, I feel like you're just going to try to do it again. How did that hit me? How did that hit me? I'm not mad. I just literally, I don't get it. How could I have been any further from that? So that was weird. Um, usually I deal a little bit more damage just from reflecting and stuff, but uh, whatever. But hopefully I can, I can show what I've been talking about. So if I just stay on top, it will body block you. But if I just stay on top, I don't really see the problem with Princess versus this guy, this hero. I don't, I don't get it. I probably took more damage than I needed to there, but you get my point. If you just stand on top, you can hit your weapon skills, you can everything. If they're going to do a chain skill, um, you want to get away because the pet does damage. So you want to make sure the pet's away. Then they got to waste time waiting for that pet. I think he was a little bit before me on that one. He's a little quicker. I did get my chain skill. I feel like that's a broken interaction. I've had that happen all the time. Where if you are slightly later 
on getting your chain skill to proc. Um, when you come out of this stun, it'll be up and you can hit it. I feel like that's a weird interaction and I just, they should just work on the timing there. Kind of gross. But what of us? Um, I did finally five star Gabe. I don't really remember why I was working on Gabe so much. I know a big part of it was because you get a 0.5% account attack bonus from getting the five star. And then you also, um, it's like, it's 0.2, then it's 0.3, and then you also get a 0.5. So you, you get some nice bonuses for that kind of thing. Um, I am working on five-starring Beth. Beth was in the training room for a long time. And you get defense from Beth. I would I would definitely prefer attack. But Beth is so useful. And my Ogma likes some defense. So I'm cool with that. We've got one more attack here. Before I forget about it, let's show you what happened here. So I've already had an MLB Liberator. And I think off the 100 gems, I pulled another Liberator. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll just kill it for 300 magic metal or whatever. But I looked at the stats and the attack was almost cap my old one was right in the middle it was like 870 or something like that so we got a significant boost on the attack that um i used to have like i think 15 or 17 percent weapon regen now we've almost got cap there that's a, that's probably the biggest um skill damage is higher defense is higher hit points it was about the same or so so this is really really good it's not perfect but it's really 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 good and every single extra percent that you get on weapon skill regen speed is a real big deal so um i had the option of destroying the liberator and getting 300 magic metals or using my mlb liberator to mlb this guy having to upgrade it and then not getting the 300 so it's, it was pretty costly but um, i think my chance of getting a better roll or doing any of the lock rolls wouldn't have happened so Princess is such a such a super important character that I think it was definitely worth doing that. And uh, what else can we show over here? We were pretty close to getting another Mad Panda brooch, so we'll keep doing these things. Keep working on him. Nothing else too crazy to show. Um, I w other than duplicates where I have an MLB weapon, um, in the in the rare exception where I actually have an improvement on an important hero. Um, all of my duplicate uh, green weapons will be, let me see if I can chase them out, will be rolled into um, to upgrade weapons. I, I have really low weapon skill reading speed, and when I fight other augments, it's, it's a problem. We're, like, we're going to get stunned. Ooh, didn't happen. Stun is coming. I tried to get on the box before the stun came. Didn't happen. We're 3-3. Three, three. I think it's okay. Ugh. That's the one flaw of my Ogma. He does not have a good weapon skill regen speed. In fact, he has quite bad. But hopefully we can do this. Barely took any damage. It's still even. Will I have to eat my words on Noxia? Well, Noxie is not next. I have two light heroes, they have two dark heroes. That's a decent advantage for me. They made Arabelle a lot better recently. Um, still. Is any of that gonna hit? This is scary. Oh, it takes three Arabelle weapon skills to get a chain. I thought I was gonna get chained right there. Hmm. And then hopefully I can dodge the pet and do what I talked about. We will see. Really good, really good kiting here. There we go, tight spot. If you can't get the chain on the hero, you can get um, the chain on the pet. There's a little bit of healing there, that was kind of cool. And then hopefully if my Eugene doesn't do anything completely horrible, then we'll be all right. Because this, on paper, all right, fuck it. <laughs> uh -uh. Jeez, I'm like, on paper, we should have a good match up there, but um, I was going to have to just dip out and do weapon skills. It was just, that just felt bad. So, all right. Things happened. That's what's up. Um, been busy in real life, of course. Everybody's busy. We're all busy. You're busy. I'm busy. Um, I have been back to lifting weights, getting back to doing things. I do think that I will get um, close to my old numbers and feeling good and all that stuff. I'm looking good. Gotta say, I'm looking pretty good. Um... But that's, that's pretty much it, man. We've been having some fun. Um, I guess if I ever am going to post those videos that I have not posted, 
they're uploaded. They just need to get posted. Um, maybe you'll see them before you see this. I don't know. Maybe, you know what? I'll put this one up and I'll put the ones after because they're so they're so late that does the chronological order even matter anymore? You need to get up. And also, I haven't. I've been so busy that I haven't even touched Pascal's waiver. I don't even know if I remember how to play that game, which sucks. Because I think. I'm close to a DLC boss, or I'm on a DLC boss or something, so I really need to get going with that, but it is what it is. The world keeps turning. I'm having fun doing things. Um, what else? We've been doing uh, the guild raid. It's pretty much the same stuff. I don't really see a reason to show that. Um, you know, we're tagging bosses. We're doing respectable damage. We're getting those currency things that I need to get the Ogma shields on on and that's rolling and actually how much time do i have left on this five days five days i need to finish this what else do i have to show so like i said gabe is a five star we do have this hero clogging up my training room and i think if i save up and i and i level up this weapon all the way maybe that's what i need to get through um the water dungeon thing Get back to our water team. All this red is there. We go. This is what I've been trying to use on this. I've only only ran it a couple times, so eh. Hopefully this is strong enough to get through there. Um, my Bianca is not MLB. Maybe that's a problem. What is Bianca's five star? It's not going to tell me the five star. I have to go into Hero Evolution to see it. When they could just show it to me and just have it in like red text to tell me that I don't have it. I don't know whatever. When hit by enemies, attack increases. Enemies attack decreases by... The decrease might actually be a big deal. Hmm. Anyways, so we're getting there. I've, I've completed, I think, three of the elemental dungeons. Um, water is new, so that I think that'll make water um, the fourth. And I think the next one is basic, which is good, because I have some strong basic heroes. Hopefully they're not a bunch of like ranged immune enemies. We've upgraded this weapon here a couple of times. It's such a fun hero. I keep using her in the co-op dungeons, um, but I'll switch out the weapon. So right now you want to use an earth weapon. So, well, guess what? I've got earth gun. I've got dark gun. I've got things and stuff. Kind of goes into the reason why I am not, I'm no longer throwing away um, excess weapons. I don't think there's any heroes that I really want to focus so strongly that it would make more sense for me to let their weapons get melted up into magic metals. You can always get more magic metals, you know what I mean? Um, we did get this, and I, the only hero that I don't have is um, Lin, the fire melee hero, which I do want. There's been plenty of times, mainly in like Camazone and stuff, where I want another melee hero that's not Eugene, or I want um, a fire damage, or I want a melee fire hero, so they're doing really well using the elemental types and the in the different classes to make you want to get everything. It's a collector game, what do you expect? But things are going well, as always. Appreciate y'all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. When will it be? Who even knows? All right, fellas. Peace.